Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the game Call of Duty Warzone on the Apple Silicon Mac. So unfortunately this is a Windows only DirectX 12 game so there's no actual way to get this running natively or through emulation or virtualization. Therefore the only way you're going to be able to play it on a Mac computer is going to be through cloud streaming. This means that none of the game or graphics processing is going to happen locally on the computer. It's all going to be streamed through the internet. This is going to be similar to if you're using something like Netflix or YouTube except that you get to control the game. And because this is all streamed through the internet, this is going to heavily rely on the speed of your internet connection. So today I'm going to show you how to sign up to the Boosteroid cloud gaming service, which is going to allow you to run Call of Duty Warzone, as well as a whole host of other different cloud streaming games and how to get the best possible speed so that your game doesn't lag out too much. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So what we're gonna do here is go to the boostroid.com website, which I'm gonna leave a link to in the description. If you do click the link and make a purchase, I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the work that I do. So what we're gonna do here is click the sign in button on the top right hand side, and then we will create a new account. Or if you have an account already, then go ahead and log in. Here I'm gonna press create an account, and then I'll enter my email, phone, and password details. So once I've signed up, it's asked us to activate with our email account. Just go ahead and find the email and then press activate account. And then we're going to log in with the account we just created. And now Beasteroid is ready to go. So one thing that you should definitely do is to test the speed of your internet connection before you make any purchase for Beasteroid. So just click the button at the top right hand side of the screen. So here it's saying that my connection is too slow, but that's because I'm running this through Wi-Fi. So one thing I highly recommend doing is connecting your MacBook directly to the internet using an ethernet cable. So what I'm using is a dock tech dock and this allows you to add various usb devices charging etc but the most important thing is that we have an ethernet cable which connects directly to our router this is going to hugely improve our latency if you use wi-fi then you're going to experience some dropouts some lag and this is going to be death for cloud gaming so make sure to check the link in the description for this dock tech hub and then here what we're going to do is to make sure that we disconnect our wi-fi and then if we click on network settings you can see here that we have our dock connected and that we're connected to the internet only only through the ethernet port. So now that we're connected via ethernet, we're getting a decent latency of 16 milliseconds, which is the recommended number as long as it's under 20 milliseconds. And we're getting a bandwidth of 46 megabit per second, which is over the recommended 25 megabit per second. So we're getting an excellent score here. As long as you get an excellent score like this, then this cloud gaming service is probably gonna work great for you. If you have any issues, then make sure to check out the connection improvement tips, use a cable instead of Wi-Fi. make sure your devices aren't downloading anything, and make sure that you're the only one using your internet connection. So now what we're going to do is to click the subscribe and play button and we're going to start a subscription. So on the left we have the per month subscription so that's paying month by month so you can just cancel at any time. On the right hand side we have the ultimate subscription which is $7.49 per month however you're locked into one annual payment of €89.89. Today what we're going to be doing is the monthly subscription. It's probably the best for you if you want to test this out for the very first time so click on this. Here we're going to accept the terms and conditions and then we're going to go ahead and make a payment. So now our payment has gone through. I'm going to be free to start using the service. So I've now gone ahead and subscribed. I'm going to go ahead and start loading up games. So now we're going to run the game Call of Duty Warzone. So I'm just going to type in Warzone here. And then we're going to run the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2. This is free to play. And what I'm going to do is press install and play. Here it's just letting us know that we're going to be signing into our Battle.net account. Press OK, let's go. And that's connecting up to a server. So here it's saying that we need to accept the Blizzard End User License Agreement. Press accept. Now the game files are downloading. And here we're going to enter our Battle on their email address and password. Here we're going to enter our security check by email. Here we're going to press review terms. Now we're logging into our account. Now close this window here. And basically we need to navigate to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And then we can press the play button here. So now it's asking us whether we want to set optimal settings. Press yes. Here we're going to accept the end user licensing agreement. Here we're going to scroll down and then press the accept button on the end user licensing agreement. And then also for the terms of use, press accept. And then also the privacy policy, acknowledge. Press continue, continue, continue. So this is running at the quality preset at 1080p. Press continue here. And we're going to continue with my username. Setup is now complete. So we're now here into the Modern Warfare 2 Warzone kind of main menu. So here we're going to go ahead and play an actual online game of Battle Royale Quads. Press play button, press continue. And I'm going to play this for the very first time. Press all these buttons, press acknowledge. And this is going to go ahead and start an actual match. So as you can see, we've started an actual game and we're actually playing right now on Apple Silicon Mac hardware. This is all being streamed through the internet and it actually works surprisingly well. Obviously, the way that this actually plays is going to really depend on the speed of your internet connection as well as Boosteroid's connection to the game servers. 
Further on, it's very likely that you're going to encounter a little bit of input lag at the very least. However, I think that this is going to be an acceptable compromise considering the fact that Apple Silicon hardware cannot play this game natively or through emulation or virtualization. Hopefully a solution is going to come along in the future, but this is likely only going to happen once DirectX 12 support comes to crossover or parallels. If that does happen in the future, I'll be sure to make a video about that then. And of course, you're going to be getting a little bit less latency if you decide to play the single player campaign of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which is going to be less sensitive to internet latency. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.